no products, no pesticides, no nothing, but this is an essential part of, of taking care of spiders. Well, and I, I, I call it the aesthetics of pest control. It, it'll just make your house look nicer. Yep, for sure. So another big box store and another bust. Big disappointment. Now we do buy our painters poles there because they have the double, the double extender. extender and we, we want to be able to reach up high. So. so if you guys have those houses with the really tall second story eaves, that's, that's what you're going to need. You're going to need that to get up. However, they don't sell the bristle heads anymore, which is kind of disappointing. They used to have them in blue. And our guys, if you see them with a blue head, it was kind of the blue head of shame. It means that they lost theirs and they yeah, had to go buy out one. the back of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you may have to buy those online. Yeah, there might be a couple of places that have them. I mean, you could even, I guess, duct tape a uh, toilet brush to the <laughs> truck or to the to the head of it. To the head, but yeah. I think there might be a big box hardware store chain with a blue logo that might carry those so I don't know we haven't gone there but you can check that out so these are uh, the poles we got Do you yeah. like my pole you got a nice long pole there Ben. <laughs> oh, we better not say that <laughs> um, so this is the part that we couldn't get there like I said they sometimes have a blue one and just the bristle head is important because that's what's going to knock down the cobwebs and wasp nests. Well, it, it seems to be able to grab it better, and because it's rounded, it gets into those corners and nooks and crannies. And then with the double extension, you're able to get to that higher level. Yeah, so these just screw on, so when they wear out, you can just get a new one. This is what we were looking for, so you can find them online. And they do, trust me, if you've got, if you, especially if you live near a lake, these are going to get nasty really quick. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll show you kind of some of the areas that you can sweep and what you should do and some techniques that you can use to actually knock down the cobwebs and wasp nests. So yeah. it's raining right now, so we're going to wait for the rain to stop yeah. because you shouldn't be doing it in the rain. <laughs> it's just going to make a muddy mess. Well, and lightning, big lightning rod. Oh, yeah. yeah. We don't want that. <laughs> I don't do lightning. All right, we found a day that's not raining we so did. that we could come out and not get struck by lightning. Not even a cloud in the sky. Dude, it's nothing but blue skies. Wow. It's beautiful. Anyway, we came to sweep the house. Yeah, I think it's important. That's one of the main things about pest control. Uh, the aesthetics of the home, how the home looks. And it's not just that. It's people say you can't treat spiders, right? <laughs> I've, I've heard that you've heard it. I've heard it by some big companies. Well, the reason is you've got to do extra steps Not just spray yeah. in order to, to get rid of those spiders which requires extra equipment extra time And that's and why they don't do it that's because right. they don't want to spend the extra money Anyway, if you're gonna do it yourself and you've already bought yourself a Webster pole And you can get a short one if you've got short areas that you can get to but when you've got these upper double areas you know, need double something eaves, that extends. you need that double extension. So we're going to sweep this house. We'll kind of show you some techniques, some of the areas that you do want to sweep. Obviously you're looking for wasp nests or cobwebs. You want to sweep those down, Mud but, daubers. but there's some other areas that you can touch up and make sure that it's going to help. Mainly we want to get the spiders off of the eaves so that when we do spray the base, they get into that product. Absolutely. And then it kills it. Well, because, and that, and we do that as a company, we make sure that we sweep first before we spray because it knocks those spiders down, and they get into the product. But the other thing too is a lot of companies don't look up under the railings here and, and in the deck. A lot of times you're gonna get the spider webs and the wasp nest there. We look definitely. for that as well. So this one is not built 
with the double. I've seen where there's a piece of wood and then the, the ballast and then another one. Right, the double. And they, they get right up underneath there and that's where wasps are always found. Yeah. So. And we don't have to worry about that on this. We're looking, but there's we can not see much. It. Yep. Tell us what you found. Okay, so I, I did look at these rails and look right here. There is a cobweb with a spider on it. Are you gonna squish it? That's gross. <laughs> I don't like spiders. Just sweep it out. Okay. <laughs> See? All gone. Nice. All right, so where would you start? For me, I just start on one corner. And, you know, there's two lips here. There's not just in this corner. You've got this corner as well, which had a spider web. Okay, so I'll get along here, and then I get along here. I also get around the lights. Why do you get around the lights? A lot of times your spiders build up there because guess where the bugs are? At the bugs are going to lights. <laughs> so I'll get around that. One thing that I will mention is we bought this pole earlier in the video and it's made of fiberglass <laughs> so this one's brand new which is fine but as you as it ages you're going to want to wear gloves because those little fiberglass plungers will get into your hands and it is not fun no uh, i also get around the garage doors a lot of times you get the spider webs up in those nooks and crannies or the co the uh, wasp nest wasps are always liking to build right here and another thing you can do is open the garage too, right? Yeah. A lot of your spiders will actually build right on the inside because it's easy access from the weathering. Yep. So they'll go right in. I also get along. Is that a cobweb you're getting? Yeah. Oh yeah. Got it. And I, I'll get along here too. I look for ants first so I don't mess up the colony. But I'll also sweep along there. Okay. Now. As you guys can tell, we've got... Ooh, that's an extension there. We've got longer eaves up here. So I will sweep those upper eaves. And then I'll also do the second edge. always hate the vinyl siding you have to be careful because up in these areas with the vinyl siding if you push too hard you you're gonna through. go right through not that I know from experience <laughs> isn't that why warning labels are on everything because some idiot did it usually you yeah me <laughs> I'll be your guinea pig Right up here for you guys. Again, most of your spiders are hanging out down in these rocks and in the mulch. And so anytime moisture comes, the first place they go is right up into the home. So I will actually sweep this area because I know there's spider webs with probably there's a, eggs. There's a pretty good gap right there. Okay, I'm fat and out of breath. <laughs> Didn't even walk that far. <laughs> I shouldn't have drank that Dr. Pepper. <laughs> anyway, uh, these shorter overhangs, you wanna get those areas too. Guess what? Wasps some spiders hang out there. In the shade, I mean, these are shaded areas, so that's where they're gonna be. Oh, there's a good spider web, let's get that. So. And a wasp nest that got painted over. Yeah, <laughs> it's been there a little while. Oh yeah, my daughter. Now, 
Now, the nice thing about these Webster poles or paint poles is you can adjust them really quick and extend them out or shorten them up. I recommend not walking around with them long because it makes it hard to maneuver and you can hit things like your satellite and other issues. No, but it's so freaking hot that the AC is up all the way, so I hope you can hear me. Yeah, well, so sweeping is an important part of doing your own pest control. You want to remove those cobwebs, take care of the wasps that way. The, the key is flying insects. You're not going to be able to get them unless you can squish them or get them out of the air. So anything you spray or, or use, they're going to have to get into to, to affect them. And it's the same thing with spiders. So that's why we knock them down, get them on the ground where the sprays are gonna work. You can, if you can reach, you can spray that eave area with certain products. Some of them are labeled for it. So you can do that, that helps deter them from coming back. But uh, that's sweeping, that's an important part. I mean, that's where I we start. I think so, that's why we do it with our pest control. But, hey, there's companies that don't do it. They don't see a need for it. But I recommend it if you're doing it yourself. That, that's just part of it. And it makes your house look pretty. It does. So we checked like every big box store. <laughs> we went store. everywhere. <laughs> and we had to ask like 15 people. Well, this sucker was hit hiding. It was uh, it really was. camouflaged. It's in there. Way back. So they're 10 bucks if you buy it with a pole here. 48 inch extendable. So it's got its own little pole. But you can unscrew it. And it's not very sturdy. You'd still want to do the painter's pull yeah. if you were going to do it. But yeah, but it that's does, the thing. It does swivel. I don't know if I, I like that. You, yeah, it, I don't think it's very tight, so it'll, it'll Might move flip around. over. But yeah, you, you can buy them online. We're not telling you to, but you can. They're blue, or blue, yellow, yellow, green, purple, orange. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what we found. So you can go to the. The green big box store and find it. Save big money at uh, that one. Yep. <laughs> so stick around, we'll do some more. I think next time we're talking about ants specifically. Ooh. So we'll see what we can drum up on the ants. All right. Until then, we're heading back. Till then, I'm sweating. <laughs> well, I can smell. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. See ya. These are uh, the poles we got. You yeah. like my pole? You got a nice long pole there, Ben. <laughs> yeah, we better not say that. Hey, it's not raining today. Finally. <laughs> Actually, the grass is dying. There hasn't been rain for a while. Well, you don't want to tell me that. <laughs> Careful there. Sorry. <laughs> Like when I sweep, I always get the gutter. Bong! Yep. Well, this guy's gonna. He's gonna do it. Look at him. He's yelling at you. <laughs>